welcome back to my channel. So today's tutorial is on this really pretty bright gold eye and this coral pink lip. So if you guys want to know what I did to achieve this look, keep watching. Okay, so first I'm gonna tell you what's on my face. I just did a really quick base on my face with this new foundation that I die for. It's this European brand, it's a drugstore brand. It's called EX1 Invisiwear and it is bomb. And Adele wears it and it makes it even more bomb. <laughs> So this is the color F100. It's kind of got a yellow undertone and I really love that. So I did one layer of this all over my face. Then you guys have seen me do this a hundred times. So that's why I'm skipping it on this video. I'm going to do it on my next one. But so this is my NC25 and NC or NW15 in my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. And I'm mixing a W and a C because I feel like I'm kind of between the W's and the C's right now. And then I just went with a quick little contour with my Hoola from Benefit and my Soft Angle Contour Brush with Sigma by Sigma. And then I used the Cora de Rosa blush. This is like such an awesome blush and it's between like a peach and a bronze and I love it. And then, last but not least, this is a shimmer cream. It's, um, it's from Sigma and I wasn't quite sure if it went on the eyes or if it went on the face, but I actually highlighted my face with it. Here and here down the bridge of my nose and then above my lip okay so if I do start sweating during this video let me just tell you that my air conditioning is broke and I've been fixing everything else in my house like I fixed my garbage disposal I fixed my dishwasher I fixed my sinks but I cannot quite fix my air conditioning in fact I think I might have made it just a little bit worse so if you guys want a video on DIY home repairs just let me know <laughs> okay so so I've already done my brows also. I did them with the Anastasia Brow Wiz and then I used this MAC Omega to fill them in. I wanted to go ahead and just do that before because I really want to spend some eyes, some time focusing on the eyes and the lips because that's what makes this look. And so you definitely don't want to skip this step for this look, for this nice gold eye. I'm going to go under the brow and I'm going to highlight it. That's going to lift my brow because we're doing a really bright lid today. And okay, so I'm just taking this tiny little MAC angled brush and this um, matte concealer and I'm going to go under the brow like so. All right, so this is a really important step always, but especially for this look. So this is the Soft Ochre um, MAC Paint Pot and I'm actually going to use a brush today. I'm going to be real civilized. Cover my whole lid and up to where I just highlighted that brow bone. Lovely. All right. Now I'm going to go in and I'm going to cover my whole lid with a light color. I'm going to use today um, Anastasia Beverly Hills in Bone. Just any sort of flathead brush. This is a Trish McAvoy one. And I'm going to cover my whole lid. Now I'm going to go in and I am actually going to use a transition color that's kind of typical. All the other colors aren't, but this is Fawn and I'm going to go in with my 224 brush and just do what I always do. And I'm going to take this in that wide crease. I'm just barely hitting it though, you can see, because I really want the star of the show to be this gold. But you do need some sort of like definition on your eye. Does that right on there like so. Okay. So I've got the color Gold Bar, and it almost looks like a green color. This is Anastasia Beverly Hills as well. And I like this shade because it's a bright gold. Sometimes golds can get kind of muted and muddy, and I love those colors, but not for, like, the bright part of the lid. So I'm going to go in, and I'm going to put this over my whole lid. Can you see that a bit better? Okay. All right. I'm going to take my MAC 217 brush and this is the color 10K. It's kind of similar to the color that I just used but it's got a little bit more sheen to it. So I'm going to kind of hit this lid again with this one. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna use actually a brand and a shade that I've not used before. This is ColourPop and it's a really affordable product. A lot of YouTubers and makeup people use it and 
Alex has told me to try this ColourPop, so I'm really excited to try this for this look because I swatched it and I love the color. So I'm just gonna put this in my crease and onto the corner of that lid, see right there? And this is just a really nice kind of pinky rose gold copper type of shade because I like to mix the gold shades. And I just put a little bit under that eye. Same thing on this one. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with my 224 brush with nothing on it and blend it. So now I'm gonna go, this is a really critical step and this is the most beautiful color. And if you need a color in the summertime and the springtime to just like run out the door and put one little swipe of something on your eyes, this is a color that you can do that with. I'm just using it to add over top of my lid because the glitter on this is beautiful and it wears so beautifully through the night. So this is called Sunlight and it's Bobby Brown. You have to put this on with your, you don't have to, but even people that don't put things on with their fingers say you need to put this on with your finger just doesn't go on as well with a brush. <sighs> Y'all know what I really, really want to find? And what maybe you guys can comment below and tell me some good brands. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Um, I really want to find like a really, really dense glitter. I really want to find like a glitter that I can put on my whole lid. I guess I could use like glitter glue or something like that that can be like a packed glitter lid. So will y'all tell me some glitters, please? Look how lovely that looks. Somebody's gonna like bring me into the We Buy Gold store. And I'm gonna be worth so much money. Okay, so I'm gonna go on with another ColourPop color. This is called Bandit. Oh, isn't that appropriate with all this gold and then you gotta band it. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna go in where I just put the other gold. Oh, I didn't tell you what that was called. Lala. Where I put that other kind of rose gold color in the color pop. And I'm just gonna barely hit it with that bandit, just so that there's a little bit of dimension. But it still stays true to that like gold and copper and oh I love this. Okay, so I'm taking that bandit and I'm just gonna go in with a little tiny brush like this. All right, everybody get excited because I'm going to go in now with my Metallic Luster Liner by Anastasia Beverly Hills, and this color is Liquid Gold. Appropriate. And I'm going to line my waterline with this. Also gonna hit that inner part of my eye with this. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna line my eyes with the Wicked Standout Eyes and the Winged Liner Brush. Okay, so I'm gonna do this one just like I did that one and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm done with my winged liner. Now, I'm gonna go in with my Balm Mascara that I'm obsessed with, this Too Faced Mascara, and I'm gonna hit my lashes. This will be a great look to do with lashes if you don't have lash extensions. Throw you some lashes on right now. I think I'm wanting to get lash extensions on my bottom lashes. Oh gosh, overboard. Okay, so that is my gold eye. Oh, I love that eye. And I'm gonna match it up right now with something that I'm really excited to show you guys because I'm loving these pinks for summer. So this is a Sigma Power Liner and this is a Sigma, pa Sigma Power Crown. I do say crayon, crown, <laughs> like on your head, <laughs> but you get the drip. That's why I'm showing you the word in case I pronounce it wrong. Okay, so I'm gonna line my lips with this pow Power Liner. I can say that one. And I'll show you, this is like the perfect pink for me. Okay, so I'm gonna line my lips right now. Okay, so my lips lined. And then I'm gonna go with the Power Crown, and this is Rubicund. I don't know what a Rubicund is, but. Okay, so now I'm gonna color in my lip. 
And what I really love about the, this Sigma combination and a lot of Sigma combinations is look how cool that is like blending wise. It's almost like, it's almost like an ombre lip. And their lip colors are really creamy. So as you like rub your lips together, they mix and blend really well. And if you wanna make it more like the color of the liner, obviously add more liner right now, but I'm actually gonna add a gloss over top of it. Okay, so this is MAC See-Through. And I'm really gonna concentrate this in the middle of the lip. And also you wanna make sure that if you're using a color that's really light, especially if you're going over lipstick, that you wipe the tip of that off because you don't wanna change the color of your gloss. Okay, and then last but not least, I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna add a tiny bit more bronzer and blush. So I'm gonna go back in with that Hoola. And then, this is like the perfect color to match with this look, this Corday Rosa. Oh. So that is that for my bright gold eye and this coral pink lip. I just wanted to show you guys a quick and easy look that's great for daytime and nighttime. And I, a lot of times, don't use different lip combinations either. So I wanted to use those new Sigma lip combinations because I'm like dying for them for spring and summer. So I hope you've loved this quick little tutorial. Come back at the end of the week for my second video. And thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Keep leaving your comments down below. Let me know what you want to see next. And thanks so much for watching. <laughs>